It may be one day late, but finally, Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 is here. I gotta say, it's already looking like this is gonna be one of our greatest seasons ever. Not just because we received so many awesome map changes and numerous brand new mythic weapons, but also because Midas has finally made his return. And I'll reveal that right here in this video. But first, if you don't hit the thumbs up button on this video, in exactly 111 days, whenever you log on to Fortnite, this'll happen. No! But if you do with a thumbs up button, in exactly 111 days when you log on to Fortnite, this will be waiting for you. The choice is all yours, so choose carefully. Ladies and gentlemen, we've wasted too much time. We got a bunch of awesome brand new stuff to cover in this video, including the return of Midas himself. Let's get into it. Now, super quickly, before we get to the return of Midas, first things first, here in Chapter 5, we received two brand new types of locations. One of those are for the brand new Underworld faction, being the Grimgate POI, as well as the Underworld, while the other new point of interest actually belong to the Olympians, being both Mount Olympus, as well as Brawler's Battleground. If you're anything like me, then you immediately jump to the inclusion that the Olympians are the good guys, and that the Underworld are the bad guys, because after all, that would only make sense, right? I mean, just look at the Underworld point of interest. It literally is a super scary and evil feature to it, while the Olympian locations basically feel the exact opposite with a bunch of bright colors and a much, much happier feel. But get this, it turns out that's literally not the case at all, and Zeus himself, who is actually the leader of the Olympians, is an absolutely massive hidden secret, and he may not be the good god that we all thought he was. You guys check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Located on the very south end of the Fortnite map, you'll find this brand new NPC, being a character known as Aphrodite. Now, whenever you actually go up and talk to this character, while you have the Zeus skin equipped, he goes on to reveal something huge, saying, why are you doing this, father? Mortals deserve a fair chance. Immediately confirming that Zeus isn't the friendly god we thought he was. Apparently, he's trying to harm or get rid of the mortals of the island. This is further confirmed from Aphrodite's character description. It literally says, Aphrodite has spent countless eons saving mortals from wrathful gods and the gods from each other. Zeus's current vendetta, however, has proven to be an exhausting challenge. Which basically, makes Aphrodite sound like a hero or the one good god that's fighting against the abuse of power of the other gods. However, this isn't the case at all. And Aphrodite can't be trusted. You guys check this out. There's another brand new NPC that was added today. Actually being Medusa. She is one of the members of the Underworld faction. And if you actually take the Aphrodite skin and go up and talk to Medusa, she goes on to reveal something huge, saying, I would love to trust you. But in the end, you're a god just like them. Basically telling us that even though Aphrodite's intentions seem to be pure, she can't be trusted because after all, she is a member of the Olympians. Evil faction for this season, which I absolutely love because it's the opposite of what you would think it would be, where the underworld would be the bad guys, but instead that's not the case at all. Midas has also made his return. Don't worry, we'll reveal that in a second. But first, ladies and gentlemen, Midas isn't the only character from Chapter 2 Season 2 that has made the return here on the Fortnite Island. Let's check this out. You remember how originally in the first season of Chapter 5, we had this yacht on the island. Obviously, as we all remember, this used to be controlled by the society, and even before that, it was controlled by Midas in Chapter 2 Season 2. What's made its return this season? And even though still in the very center, you're able to see the giant society's logo. More importantly, now if you make your way around the boat, you're actually able to find a bunch of Shadow Faction logos posted literally everywhere. Don't forget the Shadow Faction was actually what Midas was a part of all the way back in Chapter 2 Season 2. Now you'll never believe this, but literally every single member of the Shadow Faction is returned. First and foremost, located at this little hut right outside of Mount Olympus, you'll actually find one of our favorite characters ever, actually being Meow Souls. It actually has a very, very secret storyline that I'll reveal for you guys in my next video. That's only the beginning ladies and gentlemen, because located just a short distance away from Meow Souls at that main ship station location, you'll find our very next character from Chapter 2 Season 2, being none other than Tiantina herself. Obviously, we all knew she was going to be making a return. She was being teased last season, and Epic Games added her little helmet onto a chair at the oil rig. Now, just a short drive from the ship station and Tiantina NPC, you'll arrive at Pleasant Piazza. Here, you're able to find our next Chapter 2 Season 2 character, being none other than Brutus himself. Last but not least, ladies, and gentlemen, if you make your way to the northernmost part of the island, find the very final Chapter 2 Season 2 NPC being Jules. Now, don't forget, Jules herself is actually Midas' daughter. Whenever you talk to her wearing the Marigold skin, she'll say something really cryptic. You really think he's here on this island? She's not lying. Midas is actually here. And this is something we've all been waiting an extremely long time for. Obviously, in the first season of Chapter 5, Epic Games teased his return numerous different times, as we literally had a bunch of different Midas teasers scattered across the island. Obviously, can't forget about the last season of Chapter 4, Kato Thorn actually had one of Midas's golden hands as a part of his collection. The way the storyline goes, we're after the scene we saw in the Chapter 2 Season 3 trailer, where obviously, Midas himself got eaten by a shark. After that, Midas 
Atreus was sent directly to the underworld, where apparently he spent the last full three chapters trying to escape. But now, since our reality is merged with the underworld, that means Midas is here as well. Check this out. Right now, we're actually gliding in game and making our way over to the underworld. If you actually make your way to the right side of the building, walk down these stairs, you'll enter this very, very mysterious room. Find another massive set of stairs. At the very, very bottom, you're actually able to find this mysterious door. Currently, as it stands right now, this door is completely closed and you're not able to open it. But this door is actually for Midas himself and apparently is where he's been locked in and trapped in the underworld ever since chapter two. Inside of replay mode, you are able to glitch inside of this room. Currently, it doesn't really show anything more than a basic prison cell with a little fire as a lamp and a little stone seat for Midas to sit on. Coming up here shortly, two new items are going to be added to this room. One of them actually being a golden reboot card for Midas and the other being this very, very mysterious golden head. At first, I thought this golden head looked kind of like a shark. That it could be a reference to when we saw Midas get eaten in the chapter two season three trailer. However, if you actually look a little closer at this golden head, it's very clear that it's not a shark at all and instead a broken piece of Hades mythic chain. This likely means that before Hades had Midas trapped in this little room, they got into a massive fight. And even though Midas ended up losing, still put up a super good fight, was able to take a piece of Hades chain and turn it gold. But don't worry, because coming up here in just a few short weeks, the door to this room is actually going to be open and Midas himself will make his return. However, it won't actually be the normal and original version of Midas we're all familiar with, but instead an entirely brand new version that you can see on your screen right now. What's so interesting about this is if you actually pay close attention to Midas's right hand, you'll notice that something is off. And it actually appears to be an entirely brand new hand that we've never seen before. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that this is all a result of Midas's actual hand being cut off and added to Cato Thorne's collection in Chapter 4, Season 4. Once he finally makes his return, this dude Midas is not going to be happy at all, which is understandable since Hades and the other gods of the underworld literally had him trapped inside of a cell for a total of three full chapters. Once he comes back, Midas has a plan for revenge. We're going to experience his plan in a brand new game mode known as Midas Presents Floor is Lava. In this game mode, Lava will essentially take over the entire Fortnite island, all as a result of Midas's plan for revenge. We're also going to get to complete an interesting set of snapshot quests it involves us using Midas and going and interacting with all of the different Chapter 2 Season 2 NPCs. After we complete these quests, we'll receive three free Midas rewards, one of them being this Golden Shark Pickaxe, known as the Gilded Vengeance, the other one being this Back Bling, known as the Queen in Gold, where you're able to see Marigold, his wife, on a painting, and last but not least, this Golden Rose. Finally, the wait is over, and Midas has actually returned and is currently on our Fortnite Island. Bad news is, we are going to need to wait a few more weeks for this door to actually open and for Midas to come on out. Midas shouldn't have to wait a few weeks for his revenge, so we're going to do it for him and challenge Hades. Oh dear, ladies and gentlemen, we got to eliminate these boss things real quick. Come on. Oh my goodness, there's literally so many of them. There's so many. Oh, dude, look how much health he has. That's insane. This is going to be harder than I thought, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at my health. It's almost gone already. Oh no, and the zone's just about to eat me. Come on, baby. We got to be quick. We got to be quick. We got to be quick. Whoa, leave me alone. Oh my goodness, I'm in the zone. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. No way. He got away. Looks like Midas is going to have to wait another day for his revenge. I was able to get the new Zeus Mythic. So hey, I guess that's the upside. But it is really unfortunate. The first zone prevented us from eliminating Hades. Oh, but we got some enemies up there. Let's try out this Thunderbolt, shall we? Come on, baby. Oh, oh, it's official. This is my new favorite Mythic of all time. This guy now. Come on, baby. Boom. One more. Yes, we eliminated him. See my next victim crossing the bridge right now. Time to party. Ready? Zeus Mythic. One more. What? How is this dude still alive? Got him. Got one right here too. Oh my goodness. Stop running, mate. Come on. Yes. Well, there's one right there hiding behind those little bush things. No worries, buddy. Oh dear, I think we have two. One right here. Got him. Oh, buddy. You made a big mistake with that one. Big mistake. Yes. Oh, the last enemy's right here. Right here. Oh, baby. Yes. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is an absolutely massive victory royale. First one of the season. It awarded us with this season's victory umbrella, known as the Olympian. And I got to say, it does look pretty cool. So we find out more and more about the return of Midas. And he is going to be coming back very, very soon. I'm going to tweet out all that information over on my Twitter account for you guys, at HomeGamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.